or four to dry? No, nope, about 10 minutes or so and it's all done. And your feet won't stick to the floor either because there's no chemicals. Their doggy spot is all gone. Picked up something. Picked up something. And it, um, when you get, use these. The first couple times you use it, if it seems like it's resisting and sticking, it's actually removing buildup that is on your floor. As soon as the buildup is gone, which usually I read that it took only about three or four tries at most. Right. Some people it worked after one, and it just it'll glide right through, and then you can just figure it right through the whole house like we split. On my floor, you can tell it's a high traffic area of my house. <laughs> but we also have the farm, and I get grease from the boots because it's a mechanic. So it's pretty nasty. Yep. And then this, you just take it and you can just rinse it with uh, warm water in the sink, hang it up to dry, or just throw it into the washing machine, whatever one you want. It dries really good overnight. Um, let's see. Let's show the cleaning paste. Okay, you do that. That's This is Amber's favorite thing, cleaning paste. I love this stuff. Warren likes it too because I let him, uh, I don't know if you saw it yet, but I let him take a shard into my brand new washer. It's white, and he wrote on it, and he was able to take it off with water and a little cleaning paste. My cleaning paste is well used. I've had it for quite a while, and I've also dropped it, so it's broken, but it's hard. So it is hard. I won't let it crumble, but it's hard when you just add water to your cloth and swirl it around, and you can clean anything. You have a dirty stove, right? You left me a dirty stove. I did leave you a dirty stove. Just for this. Let's get some on there. Oh, these even remove. How nice is that? So we can see. Mm -hmm. I'm just videoing and then I'll post it later. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously I'd need to spend a little more time on it, but just, just if you want to just show them like get a good, water. like a spot, the spot right here I got. The spot? Yep. Hey dear. I mean, and that's that's clean. Look at that. It doesn't even leak a streak because I've cleaned it with Windex and it streaked it. I like. Well, like I said, I've had this for a long time. It lasts probably longer than what I would use it for because when I lived in the trailer, um, I went cleaning crazy. I cleaned the underneath of my vent. Like my, I had a fan that would go outdoors mm -hmm. that fan won't even run because it was so caked with stuff I used this and this my Enviro cloth before we moved out I could run my fan any given time any day I just went cleaning crazy you can use this they don't suggest this on brushed stainless steel because it is a little abrasive it does have marble flour in it Marble flour, coconut oil, and oh, it's uh, made of only three and ingredients. soap traces, natural soap traces. Yeah, so it's just a natural soap enzyme, but it's just three ingredients. A child could grab this and eat it, and eat it, and all you got to do is just give them a cup of water and send them on their way. It's not going to hurt them one bit. Not that we suggest you give it to kids, but any of the any of the chemical cleaning products, it's actually they're kid safe. They even, will not hurt the kids even if they the were toilet to bowl ingest cleaner. it. Yeah. You can take the toilet bowl cleaner. One of the ladies above the us. diamond cleaner. Took our toilet bowl cleaner. Her child got a hold of it. Actually ate it. They called poison control. They said there's no harmful products in Norwex. Give them a cup of water and send them on the way. Which is a big thing. Because that thing, the diamond cleaner works on so many things. It's almost crazy. It takes off um, like everything. 
you got hard water that has the iron or the rust and stuff in it, it will remove it. Lori, hear that? Mm hmm mm hmm Absolutely. It works. I would say on an on a on a average, this would probably last you a year, um, if not more. Like I said, I went clean and crazy. That trailer when we moved out was cleaner than when when we moved in because this is what I used to. And then you can also use the paste with this. This is the um, bathroom scrub mitt. It's two sided. It has a soft side and it has a scrubby side. Um, it works fantastic for removing like your soap scum, anything that's in your bathrooms. You can use it on your sinks and then on the toilet and then the shower and everything. And it's never going to transfer anything from place to place. It holds everything into the um, cloth just like the Enviro. You can use the Enviro, but these ones, the way they do the stitching in them, they make it more specific for the room because sometimes you need a little more elbow grease than just you know, yours, you know, having a little scrubby, you know, got build up on the, the tub or something, because my water builds up everything on it, and it, it'll scrub it right off. But, and you can use it with the cleaning paste, or they sell a blue diamond cleaner, and that is um, the actual bathroom cleaner they sell. They have, um, what's the other one? Descaler. There's yep, a descaler as well. You just spritz it, let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and scrub it right off with this and you're good to go. There also is a There also is a mildew and mold. And even though it's listed with the bathroom area in the in the catalog, you can use it within the house any place else. So many of the items are multi-purpose throughout the house and even outside of the house. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got your dusting mitt, the descaler, and your blue diamond all-in-one bathroom cleaner. And then, if, you know, we do sell brushes and whatnot as well. This one's nice. This uh, ergonomic one, I don't have it yet. I have mine on the way. It actually has a different kind of base to it that holds the brush up out of the bottom. So it allows it to dry completely in between uses and will not build up any of the bacteria that normally would you would find on a toilet brush because it can dry out. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they sit right on the bottom and you get that nastiness on the bottom. Well, that's bacteria growing right there. So even though it can't clean out of the toilet scrubbing it, but it's just sitting there festering. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Even if you rinse it, did it get down into it? The way this one's got the more open um, bristles on it, it scrubs great, but it also allows it to dry. It has a piece that goes up under the rim, so you don't have to bend your arm in a funny direction. You just go right around it, and it's scrubbing under the rim as well with the extra attachment piece. Okay, can we do the chicken? Okay. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> You can. I've never, I've never used it. Do you want me to get tongs or? Oh, I'll say the tongs are on the thing. Go right ahead. Do what you got to do. Next, we are doing chicken. Absolutely. Raw chicken. Raw chicken. Just bought it today. It's probably dinner tonight, just to let you know. Maybe not this piece. Right. Um, <laughs> and then this is just a plain Jane clean plate. Um, you can use the countertop and stuff like that. Think of when you cut your chicken on a cutting board or anything like that. The juices are going to run if that cutting board doesn't catch it. Well, what do you do? You have to wipe the counter off. Well, usually you use just your kitchen towels or anything like that. Whatever you use to clean your uh, surfaces with. Um, most people use uh, the Clorox disinfectant wipes, which are full of nasty chemicals. And you're supposed to wipe them off after you use them. And to disinfect the surface, you actually have to keep the surface wet for four minutes with the Clorox wipe or it does not work. 
with this. Yeah. Just wet it down, wipe it, and you're good to go. There's no waiting period, no, you have to rinse it again, wipe it again, like you would the disinfectant cloths, because this has nothing in it but water. Those cloths, well, you're just wiping more stuff on it. It's kind of gross. But anyways, I'm going to rub the raw chicken all over the plate. I'm so excited. Okay. So now that chicken juices that are on this plate are going to start festering and start building your bacteria that grow immediately in your food products. And bacteria grows rampant in protein, which is why we have protein swabs. So I'm going to take a protein swab and prove to you that there is protein on this plate from the chicken. And protein is what turns into bacteria as it um, hits the oxygen and starts changing. So you just rub it all over, stick it back in, and then snap the swab. Uh-oh, it's going to backfire. Why is it backfiring? Is it? <laughs> it's going to Well, it backfired on me because I wiped the plate. <laughs> backfired on me. Okay, well, it's supposed to turn purple because there's so much protein on that plate. All right, hold on. See if it'll do it. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to get it to work. Give me, just give me the chicken. It's all right. It should do it off the surface, though. It should. I did it before I came and it worked. <laughs> oh, it's oh, already turned purple. It's there you go. There you go. Put it in and it'll turn it. Just shake it up a little bit and give it a sec. Oh. I might not have hit where it needed it. But any surface, you're supposed to be able to rub it on any surface and it would turn it purple because protein is present. Chicken protein. is one purple. of the number one. And as it sits, it'll get darker and darker. Okay. And then this. So all you do is you take a dampened Enviro cloth and then I'm just gonna wipe the surface off. Can you see? Okay. I know. Okay, sorry. And you just wipe it off. So now this is supposed to be 100% clean and all the chicken is back in the cloth. So when you take the other swab, swab, swab the surface again. That was just clean with the Enviro. With water. Just water. Just water. And now that one is staying green. This has got pres protein is present on the plate from the chicken, wiped it with the Enviro cloth, and this is what it is, 100% clean. You can see the... Green is clean. And purple means there's present of proteins on the surface. And it's pretty, it's pretty neat because, I mean, it works with, uh, like, you got your eggs, that's full of proteins, any kind of your raw meats and stuff like that, they all have proteins. And once they're on the surface, they'll start building immediately. I have a bamboo cutting board. And after I've done some research, I took my bamboo cutting board and I just started wiping it all down no. with my Enviro really? cloth because I cut chicken, I cut pork, I've cut deer meat that I've caught, rabbit, anything, you know what I mean? And all that gets into no. a coarse material. Or where does it go? It causes bacteria. You can get sick. I don't want to get sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally, within about five minutes, well, bacteria starts to grow again on all your surfaces, like instantly. So when you use the Clorox cleaning wipes and stuff like that, well, they're only good for so long, and then the bacteria is going to start growing again and again. So with the Enviro, this is supposed to have all the chicken in it. Tip Simmons, are you listening? <laughs> the protein that I just wiped off the plate that you got... 100% clean reading from is now in here. So just to show you that even after a few minutes, hopefully this works the back part the first time I did it. It's supposed to be all stuck in the cloth still. So we're gonna take the one that's clean because there's nothing wrong with this swab yet. Hopefully it don't backfire. I have the one backfire on me. And it's still 100% clean on my plate, even though you wiped it with the dirty <coughs> chicken cloth. 
So I could take this cloth and go wash a table, the counter, anywhere's in the home, and that chicken that's in here is still gonna be in here until I rinse it out of it. I can take it home and it's still gonna be in here. And yeah. it's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, you can wipe your hands on it, you could go wash your dishes with it, it will not transfer. Yeah. And it, 